a twinkle read aloud. A festive feast. Orla was very excited. It was Christmas morning. Under the tree, some gifts were waiting to be opened. Just one for now, said Mom. You can open the rest after dinner. While Orla was choosing the perfect present to open, Joe put on their favorite Christmas movie. They sang along as the movie started with a song they all knew by heart. After they had each opened one present, it was time to start making Christmas dinner. Every year, Orla's special job was to peel the vegetables while Joe made the dessert and Mom prepared the turkey. Suddenly, the music stopped. The screen went blank, the lights on the tree went out, and the oven stopped humming. There must be a power outage said Joe. How are we going to cook our dinner now? cried Orla. Mom peered out the window. We should check on Mr. and Mrs. D'Souza next door, she said. Orla went along with Mom, picking up the gingerbread cookies they had made the day before. Merry Christmas, said Orla, holding out the cookies. Thank you, dear. Come on in, said Mrs. D'Souza. I was just about to start cooking our pork vindaloo when the power went out. Do I smell gingerbread? said Mr. D'Souza. Orla laughed and offered him a cookie. Thank you, he said with a smile. That should keep me going for a while. Good thing I'd already made our bebenka, said Mrs. D'Souza. It took me nine hours. It looks delicious, said Orla. As they were leaving, Mom and Orla spotted Julie and Don, who would return from church to find that their power was off too. Merry Christmas, said Orla, offering them a gingerbread cookie. That's very kind said Don. Come on in. I put our turkey in before we left, he said. I was hoping it would be nearly done by now. At least we've got some mince pies, said Julie, offering them to Orla and her mom. Could I take one for my friend Maria? asked Orla. Next, Orla and mom went to see Maria at number 65. I was worried you wouldn't have any Christmas dinner, so I brought you a mince pie, Orla said. Thanks so much, said Maria. But don't worry about us. We've got loads of leftovers. Leftovers? asked Orla, sounding very surprised. It's only 11 a.m. <laughs> Maria laughed. We have our family meal on Christmas Eve before we go to midnight mass. Orla's face lit up as she had an idea. Well, you have all these leftovers. We have some gingerbread cookies. Julie and Dawn have mince pies. And Mrs. D'Souza has a yummy cake. Why don't we all share what we have? What a great idea, said Maria. I'm sure Joe will let us use the community center, said Mom. There's lots of room there, so we can share our food with everyone. Mom went off to get Joe and some other volunteers to help prepare the hall. Meanwhile, Orla and Maria knocked on every door in their street to spread the word. It wasn't long before people started to head to their community center, each carrying different kinds of food. Orla's teacher, Mr. Hoffman, took along some German fruit bread. Elena had made some scrumptious-looking Romanian cabbage rolls. 
Shamara decided to share her delicious Venezuelan stuffed corn dough. And it wasn't just their food that people decided to share. Orla watched happily as her neighbors brought along candles, tinsel, wreaths, and even a tree. When Orla and Maria joined the party, they were amazed by all the different foods. Orla was excited to try something new for Christmas dinner. Joe was playing Christmas songs on his guitar, accompanied by Mr. Hoffman on the piano and Maria's brother, Javi, on his recorder. Slowly, other people joined in, filling the room with music and dancing. Suddenly, the sound of bells floated through the hall and everyone stood still. To Orla's amazement, the lights came back on and there was an enormous cheer. Maybe it was Santa, said Joe with a wink. The celebrations carried on into the evening. Orla put her head on mom's shoulder as they watched everyone eating, chatting and laughing together. It's getting late, said mom. Do you want to go home and open the rest of your presents? I think I'll save them until tomorrow, said Orla with a grin. I'm having way too much fun here. Everyone being together has made Christmas even more special. We should do this every year. For more holiday read alouds, subscribe to Twinkle Teaching Resources USA. Happy Holidays!